and welcome back to Studio 77. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this bowl cozy. It's a really quick make. I made it in under 30 minutes and it's great for using up those scrap fabrics. The fabrics I have used are left over from the subscription box that I received from Sewers Club. You can find a link to that in the description below, but let's get started. So for this project, you're going to need a ruler, rotary blade and a cutting mat, or you could use some regular scissors, of course. You're going to need some snips, optional pinking shoes, a friction pen or something to mark your fabric with. And then when it comes to the thread and the fabric and the batting, you want to make sure that you're using 100% cotton. This is super important if you're going to put it in the microwave. If you're not and you're just going to use it after, then it's totally fine. You can use whatever you like. If it's going to go in the microwave, just make sure that it's 100% cotton. Really important. That goes for the thread, the fabric and for the batting as well, of course. So for the fabric, you're going to want an outside and an inside fabric and your batting. So first off, you're going to want to cut two squares of your batting at nine by nine inches and two squares of your fabric at nine by nine inches as well. Taking one of your pieces of cotton fabric, you're going to lay the batting onto the back, onto the wrong side and you can either use a spray, a temporary spray for this to glue it or temporarily glue it to the fabric or you can just use pins, which is what I'm going to do. And then we're going to mark a line from each corner with our friction pen. And you want to repeat that with the other square. And then we're going to go over to our sewing machine and we're going to stitch along those lines that we've just drawn. So once that's done, we're going to make some markings for the darts. This is going to bring the bowl cozing in and it's going to make it fit into the bowl really nice and snug. So we want to make the markings on the back. So it's on the batting side. So we want to fold it in half and we want to take a ruler and we're going to mark so that it's one inch up and two and a half inches along. So it's one inch on this short side and two and a half on the longer fold. And then we're going to join up the marks so that we've got a line and that is gonna be our dart. I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. So we're going one inch up and two and a half along and then we're gonna join that up. Then you wanna open it up turn it round and fold it again so that this time the fold is on the unmarked piece and again one inch up two and a half along and match those up so then you end up with this we're going to repeat that on the other one once we've got those markings, we can fold it back in half again. And we're gonna stitch along those two lines. Then we're gonna open it up, fold it in half again, find our marks and stitch along those two lines. So then we have four darts. So there I have my stitched darts, my four stitched darts. We're gonna repeat that for this piece as well. So then you end up with this kind of thing going on. <laughs> We're going to chop off our seam allowance on our dart. Now I'm using pinking shears for this. You don't have to use pinking shears, but I think it gives it a little bit of a nicer finish on those seams. And I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch or just under a centimetre on those seams. Next, we want to place them right sides together. And we're going to stitch all the way around the outside, leaving a turning gap of around four inches in one of those sides. It's worth noting as well that when you're stitching this up, I like to just finger press open these darts so that they lay a bit flatter. So now that's all sewn together, I'm going to use my pinking shears again to cut off a little bit of the seam allowance so that we're down to about half a centimetre or just under a quarter of an inch. 
Then we're going to turn it the right way out. And I like to just kind of pull those seams so that they lay a bit nice and flatter. This is also another reason to use the pinking shears because it just gives a bit of give when it comes to those seams. And then we're going to top stitch all the way around the edge, making sure that we close in that turning gap for the turning hole that we made. And there you go. There is a bowl cozy in under 30 minutes. So great for scraps, especially if you've got some cotton batting laying around that you're not sure what to do with, left over from a quilt or those fabric scraps as well. If you're interested in the subscription box, which is where I got all these fabrics from and the pattern to make these oven gloves, then you can find it in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Coming up on your screen right now are some more videos that I think you're going to love, including the subscription box video. I'll see you on the next video.